Hello everyone, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. You don't want to become a type 2 diabetic if you can help it, and that means you really need to pay attention to lifestyle choices like the foods you eat, how much exercise you get, uh, because these things do play a, an established role in determining your risk for type 2 diabetes. From my perspective as a neurologist, the reason I'm really fixated on type 2 diabetes is because uh, recent reports indicate that if you are a type 2 diabetic, you may have increased your risk for Alzheimer's disease, a disease for which there is no treatment, by as much as fourfold. So, you know, my mission here is to do everything I can to give you information about how you can uh, reduce your risk of becoming a diabetic. Well, new research is demonstrating that one of the most commonly used classes of medications, which are the statin drugs that are used to lower cholesterol, are associated with a profound increased risk for developing type 2 diabetes. Let's take a, uh, let's take a look at some research. This study is called Increased Risk of Diabetes with Statin Treatment and it is really quite compelling. Uh, this is a study that looked at uh, individuals over a six-year period of time, evaluated uh, close to 9,000 men who did not have diabetes, and just over 2,000 of them were on statins. Here's their age, and they were followed for about six years. And they had uh, an oral glucose tolerance test where sugar is given orally, and they see uh, how high the blood sugar goes, what their insulin response is, uh, they had a test of average blood sugar called hemoglobin A1C. Diagnosis of diabetes was made if the A1C was 6.5% or greater. That's fairly standard. And they also determined if a person during that six-year study had to go on blood sugar lowering medication. So these are the parameters uh, that were used to determine the diagnosis of diabetes in any of these men. And the findings were really profound the uh, folks that were taking statin medications had a 46 percent increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes and similarly as you would expect their sensitivity to insulin uh, decreased so their bodies their cells became less sensitive less responsive to the hormone insulin by 24 percent and actually the um, excretion of insulin was uh, declined as well by about 12%. So here's what the graph looks like. And it's really quite profound in terms of uh, risk for developing type 2 diabetes uh, on the left side and the follow-up time on the right. And you'll see that those folks that uh, were on statin medications had a fairly uh, dramatic increased risk uh, increasing over time. And if we look at uh, a particular uh, statin dread, uh, medication, simvastatin or Zocor, we see that it is really associated with a strong increased risk for uh, developing diabetes. Now here's what's really very interesting and, and I find a bit surprising, and that is that the folks that had the highest risk uh, for developing um, diabetes when they were taking statins had the lowest blood sugars at the beginning of the study. And again, this was published in Diabetologia in 2015. So again, this study is really very compelling. There's no free ride when it comes to taking statin drugs. And make no mistake about it, the increased risk of around 40% of developing diabetes, taking a statin drug, is seen in both men and in women. There are studies too, uh, that actually looked at both populations. So, uh, prevention is the ultimate principle of wisdom here, and uh, I think that when you are told by your doctor that you need a statin drug, you might well need to take that drug, but I think it's really important to recognize uh, what our most well-respected peer-reviewed medical journals are telling us in terms of risks that you may not be uh, aware of, uh, in this case becoming a type 2 diabetic. Thanks for joining me. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter.